Welcome to the hourglass, you guys, and we're going to do a divine masculine energy update. Again, your divine masculine could be male or female. Genders could flip flop. It's just who's carrying this divine masculine energy. Or if you're very aware of your twin flame journey and what level or wave that you're on, um, that's very important because not all messages and readings are going to resonate. All right. So um, if it's triggering to you, be aware that that's part of your spiritual work, that's part of your spiritual growth, and it's to help you to remember who the fuck you really are, which is your strengths and your weakness. So never, I mean, triggering could be very painful and harmful, but try to remember it's part of your growth. What it, question yourself. What am I feeling, hey? What are the emotions, hey? And do I want to live in this emotion or feelings, all right? Remember, the twin flame journey is not for um, the faint-hearted, all right? This is for people that recognize that they need to grow and they want better. And they know that it's a possibility that you may or may not end up with your twin flame. And it's an experience. It's a journey to help you become more of who you really are, all right? It's to help you break a lot of paradigms as well. So if you're stuck on what your divine masculine is doing in their karmic situation or their karmics, this is just not the channel for you. All right, I hardly do karmic reads, and that's because that's going on in their journey. That's part of what they need to go through. You don't need to know all the ins and outs of what's going on in their life. All right, or else you would have been in that mix, right? But you're guided to stick, stay away. So we're just checking on your divine masculine's energy, their heart space, and possibly their future energies. All right, many other different readers you could. Um, click on for that karmic um cycle or what they're doing with the karmics and all of that all right let's see beloved what are the what are the energies that are going to be released here with our divine masculines what are we allowed to see what's going on with the divine masculine in mind all right so he is calling in his soulmate his or her soulmate, all right? It says your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help you to help you, help bring you together. All right. So this divine masculine, male or female, may be trying to call you in. All right. I feel like they have been praying. They have been doing affirmations, you know, repeating things about love and, you know, maybe calling your name and visualizing. This person could also be masturbating to you as well. Sexual magic as well. And, you know, they may not be aware that this is what they're doing. It's just something that they feel that they need to do. Something that helps ease them as well. Helps keep the connection between the both of you. I also feel like for some of you, this is not going to resonate with all. Your divine masculine may be somehow related to you. Maybe somehow your family trees are um, closely tied. I feel like somewhere down in the family tree, you guys may have a close connection in family. That's for some of you. This person may also um, feel like you're a part of their family circle or part of their soul tribe. And they know it and they're trying to call you back. They may try to meet you on that 5D plane. Those of you that know what I'm talking about, dream state. You might even be in their dreams more often than the past as well. What else is going on with this divine masculine? So we have very soon, that's a stack of cards. So very soon, I feel like you're going to get confirmation that this person might reach out to you as well. I feel like this person has ascended or they're ready to fly to you. They're ready to make things happen with you. What's going on in this divine masculine's heart? All right. So getting to know each other, it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this divine masculine could have been um, confused. He may have loved someone before you or may thought he have loved someone before you. He may have even, he or she may have even thought that they knew what love was. And until you came along, it's like maybe they're now recognizing that they did call you in. They know who you are. They recognize who you are. But it's like um, you have changed or you have blossomed or you have evolved so much that they're trying to call you back. Maybe they don't even know or don't know what to do to approach you or to get things started for some of you guys may be in separation and in that separation you may have evolved um very dramatically or drastically and it's almost like 
um, you put this person on their toes. So they may be watching you, maybe keep them guessing at times and they're trying to call you in in a very indirect way or even subliminal way. And I feel like some of you may be laughing at this or you may know some of you may be visionaries. If you're divine feminine that's doing the work, you may have um, very heightened psychic abilities or intuition. So you already know what's going on. So I feel like you're chuckling to yourself or you kind of feel like it's cute that they're trying, uh, not very hard, but they're trying to let you know that they know in so many ways. I also feel like this divine masculine, male or female, they have, they may be married or they have a long time commitment or they have others that they're entertaining, possibly admirers. And this is why they're doing it in this way. They may also be protecting you from some crazy exes or from some very negative family and friends. They may be protecting your identity because they don't want anybody else to interfere or to um, damage or even poison this connection. One more card, please. Oh my goodness, yes. Passion. We have a lot of wings going on here. So this person, you might help this person to ascend in their own journey, make the effort. So I do feel like, um, yeah, this you make this person's heart sing with joy. You, well, yeah, you are the divine feminine. Come on now, you are their soulmate. So this is why, this is how they know who you are because you give them a feeling that nobody else has ever given them. So you may also give this person, let me adjust my camera here. You may give this person a very magical feeling, a very fairy tale, tale-ish um, feeling, all right? I feel like you um, turn up this person's um, fire. I mean, it's the fire blazing, but you also make um, the emotions run wild or overflow for you. Um, you as, Again, you have this person's attention. You keep them on their toes. And I feel like you have blossomed from this innocent um kind of like passive person into like this fiery, beautiful goddess. And they're trying to pull you back in. They're trying to get your attention. I also feel like they're testing it to make sure that you are their soulmate. But they really, what's crowning the reading here today with your divine masculine is they really, really want to make the effort. They know that this is a great love. This is a great experience. And they feel like it's worth taking the steps that they're guided to take. Now, I do feel like they're very nervous because they don't really know exactly what to do. Because if you have had history with this divine masculine, I'm pretty sure that they're very nervous about making the wrong moves again now that they know exactly who you are. All right. I feel like their ancestors or their spiritual team has been guiding them, has been nudging them and showing them that you are their one. You may, they may have been seeing your name, your birth date. Um, you may have a, a birth date that came and went and they feel like, I don't know. It's almost like they can't get to you. And now that they can't get to you, they're now seeing like how beautiful you were. So they're standing from the outside looking in and the bond is very, is deepening you guys. The bond is going from, it's, it's constantly growing. It's constantly evolving. And I do feel like they feel like it's a blessed union, a guided union. A lot of passion here, you guys. This person wants to hold you. They want to be in your face. They want to be inhaling your breath. They want to wake up to you. They want to share with you, but there may be some type of distance. There may be a boundary, a limitation. Maybe you guys speak different languages, live um, across the world from each other. You know, families don't want you guys together. Maybe that's what it is when I saw him, hey, maybe your families don't want you guys to be together and the bond is still deepening regardless of these obstacles, all right? I feel like this person just wants to kiss you. They just want to show you how devoted they are to you. For some of you, you may be a little heavy or a little chubby and they love that. They love how, you know, how soft you feel. They love your purity. They love, they love the love that you give. It's almost like, I don't know. You make this person want to be better. You want, they, you make, you influence this person to want to be a better person, a better human. So let's go into the tarot. I know I've been shuffling, but I love to shuffle. I love it. All right, beloved. One more shuffle and let's get started. I feel like this person is like in a king of cups or queen of cups energy. Let's go, beloved. What's going on here with calling in your soulmate? All right. So 
we have the eight of cups that slid to the side and we have the seven of cups a lot of feelings a lot of emotions here so this person um again you may have walked away from this person or they may have walked away from you or they may they, this may have done been done mutually but i'm seeing it's like <laughs> they have so many fantasies all right and it's almost like when you walked away, they now saw all these options as what they are, pipe dreams. So they may have had a lot of options when they was dealing with you or when you guys was in some type of um, interaction, but you made... <laughs> It's like you, you supply this person with a lot of life and um, they kind of was like obs observing, absorbing all of those different options. But since you walked away, it's like they now see that these options was just not it. You know, when you walk away, you shone, you shone your light, showing the light on these um, promising futures, but they was not guaranteed. So this person walked away. Or they're in the process of leaving these things behind. Whether it's a person, place, or things. You know, they may have um, accumulated some wealth here. Some knowledge as well. But I'm seeing that, you know, it wasn't worth it. And now they're trying to call you back in. It's a lot of cups here, you guys. It's like they want a reconciliation. 8 plus 7 is 15. Um, narrow that down. You have a six. So we would have the six of cups here wanting to reconcile, wanting to bridge some type of gap. They really admire, they really love the way how you guys share things together. It's like the kid in the both of you were able to come out and play with each other. And they're seeing that with these other options, they can't do that. It's like, it's always some type of materialistic gain or benefit him and they're just not feeling that they walked away or they were planning to walk away from things that they thought was given that giving them that emotional support giving them that passion but it really wasn't it was you this whole time it was you so we have judgment with the four of swords so if we're calling out any signs you may be a scorpio pisces cancer this person may be that or they have some type of placements in there um this may have happened or this is going to happen in um possibly scorpio season this person may have heavy scorpio can cancer or pisces so they may have this idealistic um perception of the love that you have so they may have all these visions and fantasies about you but is that going to be a problem when it's actually time to do the reality thing it's, is this going to cause Havoc because they have one thing going on in their mind in their visions um, Is the reality of things going to cause them to run to hide? What's that gonna do? You see what I'm saying? So they may have a very idealistic way of seeing things plan Panning out with you and it may not happen like that in reality. Anyway, let's move on. So we have the judgment um, <clears throat> Judgment could talk about some Scorpio energy as well like a rebirth so it's like they want to <laughs> they want to be more open with you. They want to come out the come up of the dark stages with you. So it's a strong possibility that this person wants to show you off. They no longer want to keep you hidden. As well, it's almost like they want to purge out any type of bad blood or misunderstanding that happened between the both of you. So this relationship might be on ice right now. And they're praying because, again, we have prayer and affirmation and visualization. They have been praying about this, trying to meet you on the 5D. This person could know that you guys have a strong telepathic communication and they could do that. They could astro travel or maybe they're practicing on astro traveling towards you. And um, this is helping to re reveal to them how deep this bond really is, all right? I do feel, again, some ancestor um, past life vibe going on here. So someone, you know, a, a, a relative that passed on on the other side who is like, helping this person or guiding this person in the physical realm. I definitely feel it strong with all of these wings and now with the judgment, I feel like they may have something is going on here between your ancestors and theirs. Maybe the both of you guys' ancestors are coming together to guide and protect this union. 
I also feel like somebody may come out of the closet or come out of this um, lim uh, imprisonment, this mental imprisonment. But it's like they're praying. It's like they're trying to recuperate or gather the strength before they, before they come out with it. Yeah, it's like they want to send a message, but they don't know exactly what to say to you. So they're they're trying to meet you on that 5D or they're trying to say these affirmations and prayers so you don't forget about them. We have some air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is more of, um, I think that's Libra energy. Yeah, we have some Libra energy. So they may want to come in very diplomatic and fair with you. All right, but they're maybe looking at you from afar. So they're gathering intel or information on you, the things that you like, the things that you don't like. All right, and they're having some type of revelation. Hey, the more they get to know you, the more that they watch you, the bond just goes deeper and deeper. They see you in their dreams. This is how they know. This is a love of a lifetime because you have a beat. Are beaten or you stand out from the choices or the options, the promising futures that was really not guaranteed, but they see that with you. This person may have been confused in the past. They may have had many options to um, decide from. So we have the page of pentacles with the seven of pentacles. So, um, yeah, so you, <laughs> divine feminine. Wow. All right, so what I'm gathering here is this, Divine Feminine. You just ignite some type of fire in this person. You get this person's blood flowing. And um, they've been watching you. And I feel like they want to come in with a gift, a proposal. They want to come in with a makeup plan. I want to make this up to you is what I'm hearing. I want to make this up to you. But what could I bring to such a beautiful blessing? How could I, what can I bring to my soulmate to let them know that, I, that you make my heart sing? You are my joy. What can I do? Hey, this person may feel like they don't have what it takes or they feel unworthy. This could be why they were so lazy and probably just taken from you in the past because they don't know what to give you. They don't even feel like what they have, it's enough to satisfy you, all right? But they want the opportunity. Hey, you guys, they want the opportunity and they're being very patient. They're being very trust trusting in this connection as well. All right, they're thinking about the long term. It's no more short term with this, this person because they realize that it was not promising. It was nothing guaranteed. This these short term um gratific instant gratification, they walked away from things like that because they realized it was no subs no of substance. You have the substance, you bring this revelation, you give them this rebirth, all right? Just the person who you are. You probably think of yourself as, well, damn, um, I don't see myself as that. But you bring that energy, your creativity, your honesty, your, your purity, your loving nature does this for this person. It's like, um, when you, when you love someone for who they are, they begin to grow because you're giving them the space, the time, the opportunity to be themselves. You may have been a divine feminine that did not confront or belittle this divine masculine. And because of that, you have awakened in something in this person because you know when you're accustomed to people belittling you and shutting you down and confrontation you expect that from everyone so when you don't get it back or you get silence it you you push it you push this person to now deal with themselves all right because now they could pick apart or sort out their mishaps their shortcomings their mistakes and i felt that that's what you did you left this person alone to deal with themselves. No more pouring in or no more um, rewarding this bad behavior. You let them sort it out. You let them go into a recovering mode where they may have did some type of purging or some type of clearing of these um, negative thoughts or bad behaviors or, you know, very destructive attitude or behavior they was presenting to you. They may have been like very confused and it's like you, you help them narrow down their options by stepping away, by pulling away. And when you did that, you allow this person to break out of their own comfort zone. So now they're paying attention to you because you're very inspiring. They want to know what you're doing, what you're up to, because you're like this mystical, I heard Aladdin on this mystical magic carpet ride. So it's like, 
You just have a way, a strong but gentle way of showing people they're fucked up. All right? And they're having a revelation. They're having this revelation, this awakening. They have been clearing this energy, you guys, by recovering. This person may be sleeping more or they may be getting a lot of rest. And in this rest period, it's like they're recalibrating their mind. And by recalibrating their mind, they could change their actions. But it starts in the thoughts, in the mind. All right? And this person, you're always on this person's mind. They have a lot of shit that they have to deal with. But you, this connection... The things that they know, the things that they have discovered about themselves or rediscover about themselves. This connection, you, them, together, it's on their mind all the time. They see you in their dreams. They had this dream for a very long time as well as what I'm getting. It's a dream. This is a dream that I always had. And now I want to bring it in the physical. I have the drive. You gave me the drive to want to make this happen. But how do I do this? How do I do this? What is the right thing? They, they're going to decide because we see here the page of pentacles. So they may be deciding what to tell you in a message or what to bring forth towards you to make up for the past um, discretions. Indiscretions is what I heard. <laughs> Yeah, they want to be more responsible. Res be more responsible. I feel like they want to be honest and more level-headed. Hey, all right. They feel like they know they have wronged you. All right, with the seven of cups and getting to know each other, I feel like they didn't see you for who you were until they were looking on the outside. My ears are ringing. Can I have one more card on this judgment, please? Some. Yeah, so they're sending you arrows of love. They're sending you some telepathic communications, you guys. They want to travel to you. It's almost like they're preparing you. It's like they're trying to send you light and love. They're trying to send you subliminal messages, indirect messages that's aimed towards you, right? So it's like they're preparing you from when they come in. Something like that is going on. They want to progress with you. We have 7-7 seven, seven, and now we have 8-8. Eight, eight. For you, for those of you that need that number confirmation. Yeah. They want a partnership. We have judgment here with the two. Two is talking about partnership. It's also talking about decisions coming on a meeting on a middle ground. So, um, yeah. So we have seven, seven. That's confirmation that um, this person is possibly researching. So they may have research about what's soulmate, what's twin flame, what's karmic. They may have done the research on that. And this is what's helping them to... Um, Mm, this is what's helping them to be more open to this connection, you guys. So the more information that they have, again, I said that they was doing some type of intel. They was gathering some type of intel. They're watching you. They're, they're getting to know you from afar. They're observing you. They feel better in observing you than communication. Some people actually feel like observing is more important than having a conversation because people could tell you what they want, but observing your your actions, your character is giving this person more in information. It's giving them clarity on who you really are in their life, the position that you play. They want to take this in some sort of direction, but they, they're still trying to gather up the right way to do this, the best way. I feel like they have one, one way they want to do it, but they go back and forth. Or maybe they constantly spy or stalk you to make sure that what they want to give is the best thing. They want to give you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I just heard the Godfather. I, I heard it in the Godfather voice, right? <laughs> oh my God. And then we also have 8-8. Eight, eight. So their psychic ability is heightening. Again, with the four swords, astral projection, psychic intuition, all right? They're probably learning the laws of love here as well. Hmm, interesting. So I also feel like they want to comfort you. They want to melt all of your worries, all right, by giving you this proposal, this gift, this apology. This They want to show you that they're up for this challenge. They want to show you that they could contribute, that they could be reliable, they could be responsible. In the past, they may have been totally opposite because of the options. They were distracted by promising futures that had no guarantee. And they know that now. They had the revelation. They had the enlightenment. They had that epiphany. 
all right and now they want to travel to you they want to travel and give whatever gift this is it whatever this is they want to ignite that passion they want to show you that, that you are their joy you are their fulfillment what's on the bottom of the deck all right so we have two two now the two of pentacles we have earth earthy element virgo taurus capricorn so they don't want to they don't want to fuck up no more all right they're very nervous they're very clumsy here they still have a lot of things going on in their life where they're juggling or this could even be that um they may have to travel to you and that's what they're juggling that's what's getting them off the distance making them very unstable here making them feel like they're in two minds about what to actually do physically <laughs> they could be something simple as take a bus take a train take a plane should I come in very forceful, very headstrong, or should I be very gentle and let her, let him or her do the first move? All right. Should I bring her fruits? Should I bring her burgers? It's like they're trying to really pick the best option. Hey, all right. And they're trying to do this in a more systematic or a realistic approach as well, because it's something that's growing. Hey, this may be their business that's growing as well. And this is the best that they could do from now because their business is still in the developmental stages. I feel I feel strongly that they don't want to look like a fool when they come forward to you. All right? They don't want to look like um, whatever they're bringing is just not good enough or they don't want you to reject what they're bringing because, oh, and then we have the emperor to the bottom of the deck that stuck to my my table so this may be definitely your divine masculine he's in his emperor mode this is aries energy and i feel like he wants to come in and be your provider your protector he wants to be the leader in this connection he wants to take the lead he wants to go above and beyond with the wall here he wants to jump over these obstacles these limits these restrictions he's tired of it he's paying attention his heart chakra is open he's astral traveling towards you at night he thinks about you before he goes to sleep he or she and it's like, I feel strongly here with the judgment. It's time. It's time. Like he has the calling. It's time. It's time. It's time for me to take action. It's time for me to travel. But some shadow, some shadow or some sketchy business is going on with this emperor. And that's because he's confused about what to really, you know, you're not, if you're not showing this person any type of attention, this is making it even more difficult because again, he's not sure where you stand with him. Hold on. A card fell on there. He or she, they don't know exactly where you stand on them. They don't know if you hate them or if you love them or what is going on. So the cards that fell on the ground, we have stuck in the past. So, you know, they may have this pessimistic or cynical way of looking at life because of the mistakes that they did in the past. So this is the three cards that fell out. I guess I'm going to take them. So we have stuck in the past again, because of the, um, the mistakes that he made, you know, being distracted or easily persuade into, um, phonies or frauds, things that was just not um, guarantee. So he's stuck in the past of the way that you walked away from him or the way that he or she walked away from you. They're stuck in the past because of that, but they want to reconcile. And maybe they tried before, maybe they gave you an offer that was not good enough. And this is what they're stuck in the past about. So they're calling you in because they feel like if you come towards them, he or she, if you come towards them, it's going to be a better outcome. Because you, it's like they want to lead, they want to be the leader, but they rather wait for you to come towards them for them to take the lead. So they want you to open the door of opportunity for them. We have earn it, effort, prove it. They know that. This divine masculine know that they have to prove it, but they just don't know what to do. They don't know what's best for you. They seem to have lost... Um, who you are at this time, you know, you could be doing bigger and better things than when you're with them. And that's kind of like, uh, it says, if I knew what I know now, I would choose different. <laughs> so it says knowing regrets and maturity. Again, you guys, if they knew that these options was just false promises, they would have chosen different, but this is a learning lesson for both parties is what I'm feeling. This person, this divine masculine, he or she, they had some type of soul ascension. They now have a self realization about who the fuck they really are. Um, they now know what they want in a companion, what they want in a relationship, what they want in a successful partnership is what I'm getting. Yeah. And you know, we have a lot of clouds here. So there may be a still 
a, a, a element or there's still a debris of confusion here, not knowing how to fix this, not knowing um, how to clear the air, the energy between the both of you. All right. But they do need know that they need to prove things to you. And I definitely feel like they feel like the time is now or they're running out of time. They're hearing the call get louder and louder. Their intuition, their instincts are getting louder and louder. This divine masculine may be a dad. They may be a head of a household, a family, a marriage, and they know that they need to um, let this go. And it's like, how do I choose? Because we have twos, right? We have a lot of twos. This person is definitely wanting to make their dream, their dreams that they're dreaming about, this dream that they had for a very long time with you, all right? They want to make this into reality. We see here with all of these pentacles, all right? I won't speak until I'm spoken to game. So I put game because this is what it gets to. Because if one person is very shy or very uncomfortable in reaching out or very timid, um, intimidated by the way how you um, go about doing things with them or just ends up into an argument, a confrontation, they may be very patient. Again, very patiently waiting for you to speak to them so they can now take the lead. They want the window of opportunity to be open to them so they can now take the lead. But it's like maybe you should do something very small like, like a picture, a comment and a picture. I definitely do not recommend doing things online because that's where it sticks online. So um, maybe you could call. And I'm not saying to expect this person to answer, expect this person to return your call today in the next hour. That's something that you have to let go. I'm saying if you feel guided to reach out to this person, this is a page, this is a message, call, just say, hey, I'm just saying hi. Um, you crossed my mind, just saying hi. Nothing, nothing big, click. You hang up, leave it as that. You open the window of opportunity for this person to take the lead. Now, you cannot sit there and expect this person to move ASAP because you're dealing with a divine masculine, whether it's male or female, that's um, stuck in the past because of the things that they did wrong, the mistakes, the hurt, the, the, the misunderstandings that they caused. This person is still on the past. They're still holding on to things that went wrong. So you cannot expect this divine masculine to return your call or to be as optimistic as you are because a lot of the divine feminines whether you're male or female we do have this visionary ability we do have um the 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 ability to sense a change before it even occurs or before the the masses has a chance to understand what's going on that's the thing that different from divine feminine from karmics karmics has intuition yes they go off of people's reactions that's their intuition guide they do things for a reaction with the divine feminine she naturally picks up the earth power the earth changes she picks up um the energies of others in the room all right she's very receptive whereas karmic partners they do things for a reaction they provoke people for a reaction. That's their intuition um, ability. The divine feminine does it different. She meditates or she literally astral projects herself or she is very um, receptive to the signs, the synchronicity, the patterns, the number patterns. That's a visionary. That's visionary abilities. Again, your divine masculine could have a lot of earth, earthy property properties or maybe they're just very... Um, materialistic or into the 3d plane a lot so they're very realistic not okay let me rephrase that they're very logical and in the tangible what they could feel and see you get what i'm talking about but they're learning or they're practicing to astral travel towards you through affirmation prayers so they may not even know that they're tapping in to this ability in their um divinity you get what i'm saying some of them are fully aware because they're researching again we saw that in the beginning that they're doing some type of intel so they have a lot of regrets they're still learning keep that in mind all right you are the mama in this um connection i'm not saying that you have to school or train or you know chastise your son or your daughter which is the divine masculine i'm saying lead by an example because they're watching they're paying attention they're very intrigued by the way how you handle things so daring so strong but very gentle and feminine. So it's like you have the ultimate balance and they recognize that. 
you outshine all of their options. And this is why they walked away, even though it may have been safe and comfortable because this is what they know to play the field. But I'm seeing that they're ready to turn their back and go to something more challenging. We have that here with the page of Pentacles. All right, page of pentacles is always up for new responsibilities, for better services, a new challenge. All right, that's in the light aspect. For the shadow aspect, this person may be very passive aggressive, greedy, lazy, you know, unmotivated. Um, what else? Uh, what else can I say? Yeah, very resentful or whining. That's the, the shadow aspect. So this divine masculine here, she may have a little bit of that debris that they're needing to release as well. But they're still learning. Remember that, all right? And they won't speak until they're spoken to because they're not comfortable with the two of pentacles. They're very nervous and clumsy, right? Going back and forth. Can't make up their mind if they want to stand up. So if you're guided, if you resonate with this reading, do something very simple but friendly. Keep it kind. All right. So again, the number confirmation eight eight seven seven two two as well. Possibly four. I'm not too sure. <laughs> four is here because you know pages are also numbers, but I haven't gotten to that study part yet. Um, trust me, I'm I am going to work on it though. <laughs> All right, let me see. The Emperor is four, yeah. So we have four, four. All right. So he is in this healer's um, ability. So he's healing himself again with learning and being mature. He now knows the difference. He now knows the difference with getting to know each other. He knows the difference and he knows the difference because your bond deepens with time, with patience, with learning. This is something that never happened with these other options. They were just promising futures but there was no guarantee he knows where his guarantees is he knows where his heart is where his joy is at and he wants to make that effort but he needs some type of um guideline here to follow is what i'm getting at because this is very new to him all right so your divine masculine he or she won't speak until they're spoken to game and it turns in a game because it's a lot of mind games it's a lot of manipulation it's a lot of one up Manship here. It's a lot of hollow victories with this game. So keep that in mind. All right, you guys. So if you guys did enjoy um, this reading, please like, comment, and share. Subscribe. Again, um, today's my birthday, and I keep saying that, but I'm just such in a happy mood that I'm here on earth. I'm breathing. I woke up this morning. I feel energized. I feel very godlike. And again, happy birthday to my Libras. Shout out to my um, birthday twins. Go ahead, big up yourself in the comment box. If you're interested in a personal read, do check out the description box below. And again, chat to you later. Ciao.